Well, let's imagine that we've been charged with the responsibility of producing a design for two houses on a single plot of land, one a main house that you see on the left and then a studio block on the right, both houses on the one block of land. You've paid a site visit and produced a little site analysis diagram that you see here. So here's the main house and the studio there. The block of land is uh, 110 feet by 50 feet and the site is in Washington State in uh, northwest USA. Let's now produce our CAD drawing. You would click File and New and we won't save any changes to this file that we've been working on and up pops the list of templates. We want, we've got a site that is 100 feet by 50 feet, so we can select a template that is suitable for that space. So the distance horizontally is 100 feet, and the distance vertically is 50 feet, and the symbols and some of the other information that we're going to need in the landscape design is placed on the right-hand side of screen. So our first job is to draw our boundary. We're dealing here with a rectangular site, and you remember it was 110 feet by 50 feet. If I click on this horizontal line here, you can see over here that it's 100 foot long. So our boundary is going to run from about there to there. So let's put the boundary in, the first boundary. We'll pick the line or draw line tool, and I'll start somewhere over here. I've made sure that ortho down the bottom is pressed down, that means the line will be drawn horizontally or orthogonal. So I just head off in the direction I want to go in, which is to the left of screen, and I'll type 110 and hit the Enter key. The line is drawn in. I've set my drawing colour to red so that you can see it a little more easily, but yours will probably be white. We now move up and we go up 50 feet because it's a 50 foot wide block, and then pull to the right and head back in this direction 110 and finally down here 50 feet to close the rectangle. Now right click to finish and exit. There are right click to finish and exit. There are other ways to draw that rectangle of course but for this exercise that's a simple way. The next thing to do is to locate the two houses accurately on the block. I'll change my drawing colour from red to by layer which will turn it white and what I'm going to do now is offset the line at the top by five feet. The corner of the main house here is five feet away from that boundary so it's modify and offset. If you look down at the bottom of the screen we're asked to select the object to offset that's this one and we move down in the direction we want right click and click distance and type in five you could type 5.0 and then click to indicate the size. So that line has been offset by 5 feet. We also know that the corner of the house is uh, 21 feet 9 inches from the front boundary. So it's again modify and offset. We select the front, front boundary and right click again. Little trick here, click through point and then right click again, then click distance. That gives us the opportunity to type 21.666, 21 feet and three quarters of a foot or nine inches. So we can OK that and again indicate the side. So that gives us the corner of the main house accurately located on the block. We'll later remove these two lines because we'll just take details from our mud map where we ran around the extremity of the two properties or two houses on the block and now we can locate them accurately. The key issue with CAD is everything is drawn full size. I've put the footprint of the main house down here just to show you how it's done. I started, I changed my drawing colour now to magenta. I've started the line command again. That is an intersection there between the two red lines, the offset lines that we put in. So we can come up here and pick the snap to intersect. We can start there and I'll zoom in rolling the wheel of the mouse away from me and I'll just head off in the direction I've measured that to be 13 and a half, so it's 13.5 feet and I'll right click to finish to exit. There's our magenta line drawn representing the edge of the footprint of the house and you can check over here that it's accurate 13.5. So you just run around and place the footprint of the house accurately on the block. My next step would be to remove those construction lines. So I simply click on them, select them, right click, 
and say erase. You could hit the delete key on the keyboard. Now, our site analysis said that the front of the main house here is washed in sun, full sun there. So what I'm going to do now is open up a plant list that suits the site location, which is Washington State. So I come over here and say edit a plant list. I'll just click open and show you what I've done. I have a list for Port Townsend. This site is Port Townsend uh, in Washington State. And I'm looking through here. And if I expand the little dialog box there, you can see that the white stem birch enjoys full sun. So what we'll do now, I'll cancel from there, is find a symbol that looks a little like a white stem birch. So I'll come over here, just zoom in to show you that symbol I think might do what we want. So we can select it and right click and select copy. And then we'll, we'll zoom out so that we can see the whole drawing. I'll pan across a little and we can now, we've got that selected. We can say, I'm going to copy it from there as a base point. Just click on the symbol and move it over here. If you've inadvertently left ortho on, it will go across horizontally. You might have to take that off. So I like to plant these as copses or groups of fives or seven or so. So I'll put one near the corner there. I'll right click to finish just for the moment. You saw that I could have done a multiple copy. And I like to keep the footprint of the house in view at this point. If I use the measure tool and say, how far is it from one side or the other? Can you see that symbol's three feet wide? Now clearly the silver birch there, will white stem birch will grow much larger than that, probably have a canopy diameter maybe near 15 feet. So we can select it and scale it. Click in the middle and we'll scale it by, we'll make it 12 feet. So four times that. There's our symbol in. Now we can pick the symbol now. And remember I said we like groups of threes or fives. So we can copy it and just put it down as and finish it. So there's a group of three. I'll right click and unselect all. One of the criticisms of computer-aided design is that some of the symbols and it looks a little too uniform. So just click on a symbol and get the little handle and spin it around pick this one, spin it around as well, and then unselect all. There are our symbols. So we're beginning our landscape design. We've got a group of those plants in. We need to label them, and that is done automatically in the software, as you'll see later. 